What's up guys, it's your boy, Forgotten in Time. And your girl Rose Urbex, back again at another abandoned location. Come explore this old school with us. I'm recording. All right guys, stepping in right now. So we don't know a whole lot about this place. Um, the only thing that we could find out was that the place was shut down in 1997. But we wanted to go ahead and explore this place with you. Let you see what it's all about. Yeah, I think this was probably an art room or art class. That's pretty. You can definitely tell this place has been through the ringer and back. So we got black mold growing all over. Got another classroom right here, possibly. Or maybe this was just a central hallway area. I mean, it's this place is falling apart. You can see holes in the ceilings. This is definitely a bathroom. Looks like we might have had another one right here. It is flooded as well. There's a lot of spots that the, the floor itself is falling in on as well. But this might have been another bathroom possibly because you do have a mirror here and a mirror here. Going to the next room real quick. It's just fascinating to find something like this, to be honest with you. Tell most of the windows are busted out. Take you upstairs real quick. And I think this, most of this, I think, was painted with lead paint. Be honest with you, especially if it was in the 90s. Looks like another classroom here. Obviously, you have your, your taggers that have to tag everywhere they go. Then you got another room. I mean, for being an abandoned place, this place is gorgeous. It really is. It's just the tagging that gets me. I don't understand why people have to tag places up. I mean, I get it. Probably kids, they just want to have fun. They probably don't have nothing to do. But this is what gets people in trouble for exploring places like this because of the vandalism. Here, we got poop on the wall, apparently. Looks like another little storage area. Not sure what these are. But yeah, I found um, a few calendars. I found um, two photos so far. I mean, obviously you have your drink cans here that are new from people coming exploring. But a lot of this place, you got your stairwell as well, leading down. We'll go down there here in a minute. I'm assuming this might have been the cafeteria. Possible. I don't see any area for kitchens anywhere. But, I mean, you can see right down through there. You gotta be really careful where you step around here. I mean, 
Um, we did find out that this school did have um, some champion runners as well, uh, cross country. I found a few plaques from the 90s here. That's why I keep saying, that's the only information that we could find is that this place had to have been shut down in the 90s. It's just like my name applies. I mean, it's, it's forgotten in time, really. No telling what's going to end up happening in this place either. Right here, you probably. I don't know. My lights not be might not be good enough, but I mean, this is a whole basement area down here, and I mean, it is almost like a maze. It is literally almost like a maze. I mean, you know, some of the tags, they do look good, but it's still the fact that this is what causes it to that. People tearing the place up, breaking windows out, breaking chairs breaking furniture, tearing stuff up because they want copper. It, it, it ruins it for the rest of us. And you really got to be careful. I mean, look at this. It's at any point this can come down on you. I'm assuming that was just an emergency water tank or maybe a water heater at one point. And we got bathrooms. Probably stripped out most of the copper there. I don't know if it keeps going around here. I haven't looked at this yet. Yeah. It keeps going down. But I love ex exploring these type of places, guys. Like, I want to do it more often. Um, you know, like I said, this is just one of my hobbies. I love doing it. You know, I started out watching some of the, the big explorers on YouTube. You've got Exploring with Josh. You've got Exploring with Cody on there. you got some of the newer guys that are on there. Uh, Jeremy Explores that you got on there. you got Big Banks. He's on there. I mean, this is what it's all about, finding places like this. Hopefully when I start taking off, you know, we'll, we'll start going to places a little bit further out. I've been Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, been to a few places like that. There's another supply closet right there. I'm trying to get more content for you guys as well. Got to save that area for last. You guys are going to love that. Go back upstairs here. Come through here. What's up? <laughs> yeah, I think this is one of the weirdest finds here in this school too. Is got a baby carriage. 
what do you, carriage, crib, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's a little weird to have that masculine unless they promoted that kind of stuff. I mean, you got a whole shower here. I mean, it could have been for high schoolers that had children at a young age and they tried to help them out. Car seats in here, not really sure what that's about. Some of the old furniture still here. Not a whole lot. There's a room. I've got to show y'all, but i got to find it again. This place is like a huge maze. But you can see nature's just taking it over. Now look at the look at the desks. Like you don't see desks like this anymore. Like I remember when I was in school, we didn't even have these. We had plastic chairs, and this was plastic. And you have like a little area under there to put your books. Come through here. Assuming this was like a little reception area, possibly. We got the old TV here. I mean, the place is amazing. Like, this is a legit amazing find. You don't see stuff like this every day. It almost feels like it could be like a scary movie or something like that. Like, I would definitely put a murder movie in this location. For sure. So, we already went that way. We already went downstairs. I'll take y'all this way real quick. Let's see in here. I mean, the place is huge. I mean, this could have been the cafeteria, too. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Take the outside real quick. And I'm telling y'all, that building right there is where it's at. It's the, uh, I guess, a gymnasium, if you want to call it that. It's amazing. I'm not going to show that fully, but that is one of the plaques. They got a champion award in 1998. Another supply closet there. Got another supply closet there. Chairs. I guess this was maybe another bathroom. Yeah, I guess so, because these are kind of like yeah, stall doors and stuff. This one, see, I mean, it, it's falling apart. Like you kind of, you gotta watch your head when you're stepping through here. I've already had something fall on me once before we start the video. But like, look at, look at those chairs. Like, see, now you're starting to get into plastic chairs, but these are still like from my era, like when I went to school. Come through here. You got another supply closet here. Which is a little strange. Uh, there's like there's shelves for supplies. But then you got like a wide open window here, which is kind of weird. But I digress. They probably needed it for something. We got floppy disks. I mean, they haven't used those in forever. Safes. Some of the old furniture. See, like, you don't see that kind of furniture anymore either. Unless the school just seriously hasn't updated any of their stuff. At all. So that's all of up here. 
we'll go. We've already went through all of that as well. So we'll go upstairs from this point. One door I have not been into. I don't know what's in here. I guess it just goes. I wonder if this is where I found it. No. It's a bird. It's a plane. I'm trying to find this one spot. Look at this. A whole room just filled with chairs everywhere. It's a chair room. Which one are you talking about? This one. Hold on, guys. We're going back to see what it is. This is a little strange. I'll they probably have a, a wiener nose. Probably blur this out for the video. <laughs> I'm not. I don't want to uh, get dinged by YouTube. But this this one is cool though. We got that one there. Still sucks that they got a tag, but you know. You've got special kinds of people out here nowadays. Obviously, you can tell that was done by the school when it was still here. Have you been down to the basement yet? Yeah, I've already went down to the basement for them. Well, I guess I need to go down to the basement for them. Oh, no. Wow. It's creepy down there. Hmm. Looks like there's more to this property than I thought, too. They definitely did. It reminds me of um, Office Space. If you guys have ever seen Office Space, it's a great movie. I haven't ever seen it in the video office. I think I took y'all through most of these, but there's still more here. But you got croquet balls. I think that's how you pronounce that, which is pretty cool. I'm trying to find this one. It actually. They had a couple of cans that were from like the 90s in here still, but regardless, it's time to take y'all to the next area. I know that y'all are going to love this. I mean, it is tagged up, but it's amazing. Courtyard area. And here we go. Look at this place. You cannot tell me this place isn't awesome. I mean, you can tell the floor is coming up. Bad. I mean, it's leaking through. I mean, look at the ceilings. Soon as are just falling through. But you got some partiers here. You got your whippets. You got your beers. 
You got more beers. Somebody decided they wanted to have a gaming PC here. Well, this guy right here, I mean, he must come here all the time. I mean, this Bane guy is literally all over the top. Every single wall is tagged by him. Multiple locations. Right, let's go to this next area up here. Down here, there's not a whole lot. Still pretty cool. I mean, look at that. Some chairs. And it goes down to there. I mean, we can travel down here for y'all, though. And that's why you gotta watch out. Got your bathroom. Here we go. Locker room area. And now I've went through every single one of them trying to gather some sort of information for you guys. I can't find anything out. So all I know is that this is the boys locker room over here. And the girls locker room on the other side. Even the cement stairs are falling through. This is what it's all about. Doesn't matter what condition the place is in, you explore it when you find it. Look at this. Just imagine being up here when a baseball game, or sorry, basketball game was going on. Look at this place. <clears throat> Just imagine being up here. <clears throat> Look at this place. Just imagine being up here when a basketball game was going on. All the kids here. They probably had bleachers over here on the sidelines. Everybody cheering on their home team. It's crazy to think the kind of memories that went on here, whether they were good memories or bad memories. And then up just one day, they close it down. Whether it be for money reasons or <clears throat> building another location. Look at that city. And I'm assuming this was kind of like a, they used it probably for multiple things because Obviously, you have your basketball court here, gymnastics stuff over here, and then you got some sort of table over here. So maybe they also use this for plays. And then you got this size. Doesn't really lead into much there, but we can go up on this side here. Like, I don't know if this was <clears throat> maybe for, like, away games or something. Like, away teams or something like that. Because it doesn't make much sense because the other locker room's downstairs. But these are obviously cubbies for something. Like, it had to have been for, like, a team or something like that coming in here. Here, walk down here. 
a little weird, but it got plastic shackles here. A little strange. And then we come down here. And no ghost, no, I'm just kidding, but there's another locker room right here. It's this is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I feel like this place could have been repurposed, but same sense, it gives me something to explore. It gives you all something to view. Entertains everybody. Come back up here. And this is the other portion. I mean, you can tell somebody's <clears throat> been here. They've got a fire pit going on. They got the little chairs hanging out. You got your little barbecue grill sitting over there. And then this just kind of leads into the basement again. But I hope y'all liked it. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, we're moving on to the next spot now. Hopefully we'll have some cool content for you. Uh, but until next time, we'll see you. Forgotten in time.